Hi guys, welcome and welcome back. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I have an empties video for you guys of some faves and fails. So if that interests you, I would love for you to keep watching. All right guys, so these are some products, three, four, five, I have seven products here to share um, that I either love them or I hate them. So, um, I wanted to share them with you and let you know my thoughts and I'll have all the links down in the description box if you guys want to purchase any of these. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is a fail for me. This is Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. Wet n Wild has great products, but for me this didn't work. It's very glittery and I look like a disco ball, so it wasn't my favorite. I, I just didn't like it. and. It's very inexpensive, and like I said, I love Wet n Wild products. It just didn't work for me. So unfortunately, I will not be repurchasing this one. Now I do have another Wet n Wild bronzer that I absolutely love, but this one, maybe I'll find a use for eyes or something and I'll let you guys know. Or maybe I'll try it again. We'll see, maybe it was Lighten. I don't know. I just didn't like it when I did use it. The next product from Wet n Wild is this Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. I love this. I repurchased this so many times. This is their light, light to medium, I believe, color. It's oil-free, which I love, so it doesn't clog your pores. Yeah, this is your light to medium, and it's, it's like a medium coverage, but I love this. Like, I don't like wearing foundation that much and this is a tinted hydrator and it definitely does hydrate your skin and i love this there is no spf or nothing like that in it and there are chemicals in it but one thing that's in it is hyaluronic acid and and squalane so it's better than your parabens that you guys know if you guys been following me you guys know i try not to use products with parabens in them because i had a benign tumor in my left breast years ago um so the hyaluronic acid is really, really good. You know, it's anti-aging and I don't know. I just love it. So I will definitely keep repurchasing it. Matter of fact, I have one on my beauty shelf. Okay. The next two products are the same line and they're by Acure. If you guys have been watching me, you guys know I love the Acure line. This is their Acure Brightening Day Cream and it does do what it says. It does brighten. It has argan oil and it has avocado oil in it. This is so, so good. I love this stuff. And um, it, it does brighten your skin. Now, um, their night cream I like too, but it's a little drier for me because I have combo skin. So I use this at night instead. Okay, so this works really well. And I'll have all the links down for you guys if you're interested in any of these products if you want to, you know, buy them okay the next thing is the acure brightening vitamin c serum i love this stuff so i would put this on first after i wash my face with their cleanser okay but um i have been using a um cetaphil cleanser now i've been using that for a while i go back and forth either with um the um brighten and scrub cleanser i do that like twice a week and then i do my you know cetaphil one um every day but um and then i dry my skin and then i put the brightening i mean I, I put this on the serum and i wait a couple minutes and then i do my brightening day cream and then my spf you know um so i really do like this and this is like seven to twelve bucks and this is like uh, $13, I think, but I'll have everything linked. And this is like five and change. And this was five and change. Like I said, this might work for you guys. I don't know. It just, I don't know. It just did. I don't like talking about companies or anything. Cause I love wet and wild. I don't want to talk about any companies like that. That's not what I like to do with an empties video, but it just didn't work for my skin, you know, maybe because of my skin color. I don't know. I'm, I'm olive undertone peachy pink, and maybe it just made me look muddy because of that. I don't know. I don't know, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this, okay? All right. The next two products are from the same line as well, and this is by Garnier Fructus Style Flat Iron Protector Straightening Mist. I love this stuff. I use this when I, I wash my hair twice a week, 
And when I wash my hair before I flat iron it, I put this in, but I also use a smoother one too. But this one just gets it prepped and ready, you should say, you know, like I should say. And this is like um, six and change. And this is like a really sleek job. Now I will say you definitely have to, now what I do is I section my hair when I use my other one. This one I just spray all over before I flat iron it. But you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to try, I'm going to start doing this with, with section in the hair and see how it comes out. Because it says it's sleek, flexible hold number one. And it, and it's for 450 degree heat protection and that's exactly what I use on my straight iron, on, on my flat iron. Okay, the next thing is their texture tees. I use this one. And I, by the way, I have backups. They're in my beauty drawer. All of the things I shared have backups besides this. And this is their texture tees dry touch finish and spray. And it holds lift and texture. And I love this stuff. Like I have it on now, you know, when when you're going to either curl your hair, wave it out or whatever. Like I have some, some waves to my hair. I'm not like bone straight. So what I love about doing this finish and texture spray is, is I like to tease my hair in the back a little bit. Then I put it up in a bun or I put it up, um, you know, in a ponytail and it just gives it more texture, more lift. And, and it's just I'm like, you, you know, like defines the uh, style better. Gosh, I can't even talk. Yeah. But yeah, it, it holds your lift and, and texturizes it out. Oh my gosh. All right. So it's very, very good. I love these products. They're my power twins. I, I love them. Okay. And because I have frizzy hair, you know, sometimes. So this really helps with that. I really do love this. And I think it is, you know, you know, I think it does help with that for me. So, all right. And the last product is this pure... Pure Dior, 100% pure cold press organic or organic argon oil for body, hair, and face treatment. Now, I have shared this. I've been using this product, oh my gosh, over 15 years, okay? And I love it. It comes in a glass bottle, <clears throat> and, you know, you just squirt it out. And I do about two pumps and I put it on my skin at night for a moisturizer. Now this one I did say I use at night too. It just depends. I do them together. If you put argan oil, mix it in with your lotion, it's, um, my gosh, it's really good. It actually activates the, um, the, the anti-aging lotion, whatever you're using. Uh, you know, to penetrate deeply into your skin more, you know, like your epidermis is your, you know, outer layer. But um, yeah, argan oil is amazing. I use this on my hair if I'm going to wash it the next day, like around the temple. I do a lot of massages with my hair or I rub it through my hair because it really just helps with breakage and it, it just, I mean, it just shines your hair really nicely, but you got to be careful because it is an oil, so it can make it oily. So, but that's why I, I do an argon treatment on it. I do a few, you know, like a few pumps that I do on it. And then I just bring it through my hair. I haven't done it in a while, but it, you know, that's what you can use it for. But I, where I, I use it on my face all the time. I love it. This is my moisturizer of choice. Um, and I don't always use it, you know, with anything else. I'm fighting a cold or something, so I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> yeah, anyway, $12.99. Very good product. I love it. So guys, that is all I have for an empties video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh my gosh. I've been filming all day. I, I just did a uh, the part two of the Timu. That most likely is going to be going up before any of these, okay? But what I do is I do about three or four videos and because <clears throat> I might as well, right? We put the ring light on us and everything else. You put your makeup on and you're like, okay. So then I just, you know, do three to four videos back to back. Not all the time. I do this. It depends. Like if it's going to be a really long try on haul or something, then maybe I just do another one with it. But this time I did. I did this. I did 
Walmart Beauty Box, and, and I did um, a random haul video, and I did the Timo, so I did four videos. So yes, I am tired, <laughs> but that's okay. I, I love to come on here and, um, you know, film for you guys because you guys are amazing. You guys rock. And I wanted to get these all up because I'm going to be editing them out because I have a stitch fix coming here on the 6th. So, and I have, um, I have, a, I have my last summer try on video coming with, with Timo, just waiting on one item to come. And then it's all going to be fall from there. And, um, I have a Walmart fall haul that, that I am getting ready for as well so i do have so much in the works right now so i said you know what i want to get this empties video done and i got the walmart beauty box done and um you know of course they're going to be different videos you know for different days but um but yeah but yeah i i try to film at least three videos a week for you guys um, and that's included in a shorts and sometimes I'll do more. It just depends. It just, you know, it depends what I have time to do. Cause sometimes I can only do one video a week. That was a while ago. I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. I do like two a week now and then I do a shorts, but, but sometimes I just put them up more than that. So if you are brand new, you know, I film at least put two videos out a week. I don't have a specific day. It's usually the beginning of the week and the end of the week. And usually it's a Sunday that that I edit a video out and it goes up by Sunday or Monday. And then the next one I will edit um, out and it would go up either Wednesday or Thursday. And that's what I've been normally trying to do is um, beginning of the week, which will be your Sunday, and then maybe a Wednesday I would try to film. I'm seeing when, when my viewers are on, and then that's when I try to do it so that you guys don't miss them. All right, guys. So let me know if you use any of these products, and um, let me know what your faves are, and if you have tried this wet and wild color icon bronzer you know what i'm gonna try it again you know what i'm probably gonna like bite my words i'm gonna fight you my words right but um it could have just been maybe the makeup i was wearing with it i don't know like i don't want to just like throw it away so i'm gonna try it again and i'll keep you guys updated it's just i don't know it looked muddy so it could have just been maybe a foundation i was wearing with it i don't but I will try it again. I don't like to just throw a product away and like, oh no, this just doesn't work for me unless I broke out from it. Then I'm like, absolutely not. But yeah, I try to give it, you know, another chance. All right, guys. So that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, keep it real. Keep looking up. God has all the answers and make it a great day. And of course, if you lemons, make some lemonade. Bye for now.